we're going. Okay, so here I am in Joanne's craft room, um, which despite her um, protestations is much tidier than mine, um, but I'm getting to play with her new stamp. stamp people wanted to call it a Stamposaurus, um, stamp of artists. Um, so we've sat and we decided what we're going to do. So we're playing with the Amazing You stamp set, which is one of the stamp sets out of the Celebration catalogue, and the Coordinating Celebrate You inlets, which also are in the Celebration catalogue. Um, and this is a really lovely set. I was playing with this yesterday, so really excited about this. And we're going to have a play with this stamp of artists. Now, we've already die cut our little you ready to go in a minute. Um, it's a fabulous size, that little die. Um, useful for lots and lots of things um but we're going to have an amazing you so we thought we'd play with this um stamp of artists and demonstrate how easy it is to make a nice line um of stamped words going down the side of our card now this is we've not practiced this anything could and possibly will happen um but here we go. Let's see how this works. So we've already stuck our amazing, amazing stamp um, to the this side panel just here. And we've also got a flower stamp just here ready to go on this top panel just here. So we're all set. We've got our inks ready and we're going to do um, a multicoloured line of amazing stamps and we're going to start with the palest colour which is Wisteria Wonder. So we're going to open up our ink pad and just like any other stamp and stamp block we're going to tap tap and cover our stamp with ink and then press and hopefully voila look at that it is truly amazing so now we're going to lift this up and go up a notch and we're being very naughty and we're not going to um, clean our stamp we're just going to go in with the next color which is perfect plum tap 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 ink it up Press down. Beautiful. Well, actually, that's looking as if it's not quite caught on that corner. So, and of course, this is the wonderful thing. You can afford to be picky, whereas normally you'd look at that and think, that'll do. The stamper artist, you know, it's going to go in in exactly the same spot. So, there we go. That's much better. Let's lift it up, move it up, and we're going to go in now with Elegant Eggplant. Tap, 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 ink it up. Over it comes. Now, because we're using a um, rubber stamp, we haven't got the foam mat in the bottom of our stamparatus if it had been a photopolymer one we would have put a foam mat in so there's our elegant eggplant now obviously we haven't got a darker purple so what we thought we'd do is we'll lift this up take it up into the top notch so we're now going on the top of our card we're going to ink it up once we want to make it darker we're going to ink it a second time and stamp over the top so obviously doubling the intensity of the ink and making it that little shade darker excellent such good fun. Right, now we're going to go in with our flower. And we thought for our flower we'd make it rose red. And we've placed it 
on the um, on this side here and it should come hopefully along this bottom corner somewhere we've positioned it so that's where we're aiming for so again we're going to stamp 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 bring it down this way look at that fabulous so you could then decide if you wanted to get a water brush and watercolour that or just leave it as it is. We're going to add in our amazing you. And you've got a very clever looking card. Very simply. So that was good fun. So I can't wait for mine to arrive now. Um, Joanne might find me here every other day just coming for a play. I'll just sneak in. Um, but yes. If you haven't already got yours on order, you're going to have to wait now, I'm afraid, until June. But um, that's not so far away. Um, make sure it's top of your wish list when the new catalogue comes out. So, really exciting.